let's get the um, thumbnail done. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> morning I'm going into the historic village of Bungie, just in the north of Suffolk. Well that's all after I finish this apple. While looking at the partridges and the crows. I don't think he knows about second breakfast, Pepin. Mm -hmm. Rule Britannia, Ditchingham. That is a very beautiful thing and the culture and people for which it stands. We must hang together or we hang separately. Yes. I'm just not used to the luxury of how much space there is in a phone box. Yes, I could have a whole seven shelf library covering two walls. Oh, if I just had a space as big as a phone box. <laughs> right. I desire to read an excerpt of a random novel. Oh, hello. The Ladybird Book of the Midlife Crisis. Johnny's body used to agree with him. It used to agree that his shirt fitted, that he could manage another pint that he would be awake when the train reached his station and that he had finished weeding. Now, Joe's body disagrees with him on all these things. Phil does not regret leaving his wife, growing his hair and starting to wear cowboy boots. If he had not done that, he would never have met Megan. As long as Phil avoids making cultural references from before 1990, never reveals that he has a blue yonder email address, and tries not to have a heart attack, he and Megan have a great future. Very good. Well, it's mostly pulp trash in here, but I, my eye was drawn to a T.E. Lawrence. Seven Pillars of Wisdom. I'm sure most of you already know this chap was Lawrence of Arabia. At last, when I was completely broken, they seemed satisfied. Somehow I found myself off the bench, lying on my back on the dirty floor, where I managed, I snuggled down 
dazed, panting for breath, but vaguely comfortable. That was quite an awesome movie. Starring Peter O'Toole, who had the most amazing entrance. Omar Khayyam in amongst it. Showing my age now. I even remember when uh, telephone boxes had telephones in them. Oh, at least it doesn't say no van parking. Oh, hello. Oh, Triumph Herald. Don't see many of them. Oh my gosh. Speaking of ditching them, <laughs> that was quite an emergency stop in the ditch there because I just passed an old Triumph Restorer. <sighs> TR6, wow. Triumph 2500S. Look at all these beauties in various states of perfection. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho. oh, yeah. I mean, classic cars like this are not for midlife crisis folks like myself, but for old boys who postpone their midlife crisis, let's just say. Okay, back to Bungay.